Good day, Internet. In this video, we are checking out the Federal Hall located at 26 Wall Street, Financial District, Manhattan, New York City. The Federal Hall is a memorial and historic site at 26 Wall Street in the Financial District of Manhattan in New York City. The current Greek Revival-style building, completed in 1842 as the Custom House, is owned by the United States federal government and operated by the National Park Service as a national memorial called the Federal Hall National Memorial. Yes, it is standing at Wall Street right next to the New York Stock Exchange. I am now standing at Pine Street, the backside of the Federal Hall, which is the entrance to the museum. The Federal Hall Memorial is named for an earlier federal style building on this same site, completed in 1703 as City Hall, which the government of the newly independent United States used as its capital building and called Federal Hall during the 1780s. The 1703 building had served as New York City Hall and hosted the 1765 Stamp Act Congress before the American Revolution. After the United States became an independent nation, it served as the meeting place for the Congress of the Confederation, the nation's first central government under the Articles of Confederation from 1785 to 1789, and the building was expanded and updated. It even has a vault for the gold reserve of the U.S. government before. With the establishment of the United States federal government in 1789, it hosted the first Congress and was where George Washington was sworn in as the nation's first president. It was demolished in 1812 to make way for another government building. that right this is the site where George Washington was sworn in as the nation's first president. The current structure, designed by Ithiel Town and Alexander Jackson Davis, was built as the U.S. Custom House for the Port of New York before serving as a sub-treasury building from 1860 to 1925. The current National Memorial commemorates the historic events that occurred at the previous structure. The memorial building is constructed of Tuckahoe marble. Its architectural features include a colonnade of Doric columns, as well as a domed rotunda designed by the sculptor John Frazee. The facade and part of the interior are New York City designated landmarks, and the building is also a contributing property to the Wall Street Historic District, listed on the National Register of Historic Places. This piece of the balcony that George Washington stood on for his first inauguration is on display in the rotunda of Federal Hall National Memorial. On April 30, 1789, George Washington took his oath of office as the first President of the United States at 26 Wall Street on the balcony of the original Federal Hall, the first capital of the newly independent country. When the original Federal Hall was demolished in 1812, a few remnants were saved. The large brownstone section of the balcony floor upon which George Washington stood was removed to the grounds of Bellevue Hospital, where it was exhibited for many years. In 1889, the stone was returned to its original site and displayed here at 26 Wall Street in the U.S. Sub-Treasury Building now Federal Hall National Memorial for the commemoration of the centennial of Washington's inauguration. 
It was also covered with a thin skim of cement in order for the inscription to be applied. The balcony piece has been moved within the building several times and cracked when it was being placed in the lower rotunda. This crack allows visitors to see the original stone beneath the cement skim coat. This remnant piece of the balcony upon which Washington stood in his first inauguration. The memorial has several permanent exhibits. These include George Washington's inauguration gallery, including the Bible used to swear his oath of office, freedom of the press, the imprisonment and trial of John Peter Zenger, and New York, an American capital, preview exhibit created by the National Archives and Records Administration. This is a depiction of the inauguration march by George Washington's Continental Army. Hoorah! I find it fascinating seeing depictions of their lives. A trolley is a place worth to visit. George Washington's office table as the first U.S. President. You can see the New York Stocks Exchange outside the window.
newer facility became the nation's first customs house, as well as one of six federal treasury buildings storing millions of dollars worth of precious metals between 1862 and 1920. The memorial now houses a museum on Washington's administration, including the original Bible from his inauguration. bars, gold coins, and silver was stored in this vault. the first federal hall. The original White House is not in Washington, D.C., but here in Wall Street, New York City. This wooden horse was from the Fort Jay in Governor's Island. This is the ground floor of the Federal Hall. Antique original lighting fixture from the 1800s. Coin vault built in TH 1878, fascinating. Lots of gold coins was stored here, just about 1,700 tons of gold. Hurrah! The columns and foundation of the Duriel Hall is massive. That is why it still stands to this day.
visit New York, make sure to pass by the Federal Hall Museum here at Wall Street. I mean, it's free and you would learn the history of the Founding Fathers. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Oh, ho, ho.